I beg of you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you don't let yourself move easily from your way of thinking. Look at life with good eyes. Leave that bitterness. No one owes you any debt. What you sow, you reap. Did it go wrong? Good. So you can learn from your mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. God don't have no problems with your mistakes. What he wants is for you to learn of them. Leave the bitterness. Leave the negative words. Get in tune with God. The Lord, this is the day the Lord has made. Therefore, I will rejoice in them. David says, teach us so to number our days that we may bring wisdom to our heart and have patience and hope for better days. If they have not been manifest yet, they will come. Everything will work out for the better. What happens is that you live in a little square in routine from your house to the job, from the job to your school, and it looks like you memorize all of the street. And sometimes you're driving and you say, wow, how did I get here? You put the pilot in automatic and you do things routinely. You have to do as the prodigal son, well, comes to your senses. How could I have left my father's home if I had everything there? I'm returning to my father's home. Well, I've come to my senses. Make me as one of your laborers. You think I'm mad with you? I'm not mad with you. Be at peace. It's a new day. Let's celebrate. Kill the fattest cow. Let's celebrate with my son. Our God is a God of prosperity. He's a God of abundance. He don't think like you. The thoughts of man cannot be compared with the thoughts of God. You have to be broader. You have to spread your stakes, tighten them up, and look at the God you serve.